I recently moved to Jackson and have a two-year-old. My relationship with nature has changed, but Jackson is the perfect place to play. Now, instead of just climbing on a rock, you might find me at the base of a climb changing a diaper. Yoga on the Museum Sculpture Trail, offering an inspirational way to connect two ancient practices, visual art inspired by artists over the centuries, and the art of yoga, ensuring healthy mind, body, and spirit. It just doesn't get any better than this. Nature provides inspiration for artistic creativity. I organized this traveling trout art contest for Wyoming High School students. I love how each of the 36 sculptures gives a unique perspective on a beautiful native species. Jackson Hole is a special place for elk, Wapiti, the largest ungulate in the lower 48, and when they eat sage, it turns their ivory molars the color of sage. Walking past this bronze, highlighted against the sky, and with the rising sage just below, the smell, the views, my daily commute. Horseback riding near the entrance of Grand Teton National Park, a recreational retreat with our surrounding wildlife. The essential joy of riding horses is that it brings us in contact with the rare elements of grace, beauty, spirit, and nature while enjoying our family and friends. I was born and raised in a small New England town that flew a flag adorned with the motto, Green Fields and Dark Skies. As an adult now ingrained with this subtle yet profound appreciation of nature, I moved to Jackson for the vast skies and pristine valley. As a photographer, Jackson Hole is a visual playground full of natural beauty and wonder. You just can't make a bad photo here. Crossing the Snake and hiking to Bailey's Lake about six miles is one of the best ways to appreciate the scenery and wildlife of this area. We have experienced almost every kind of wildlife animal and fished in the lake by using the oldest handmade log rafts I've ever seen. August 26, 2007. Outdoors on top of Grand Teton has to be the most spectacular place I've ever been. Exum guide Gary Falk got son Nicholas, me, son Matthew, and wife Laura up and down all in one piece. Whenever I'm out in nature, I'm amazed by its beauty and power. It can always renew itself if given time, like Wilson Canyon scorched by fire. Rainbows are a phenomenon that are even more breathtaking in wide open country where you can see both ends. Incredible scenery is always better when viewed with family and friends. Discover a place in the wilderness where you can view wildlife sculpture up close and personal. Overlooking the Elk Refuge in town of Jackson, experience our sculpture trail where the wildlife never sleeps. Feeling lost in nature is one of my favorite experiences. Sounds are amplified, alertness is peaked, to-do lists disappear, and the trail seems less important. I hope we always have the opportunity to get lost in nature. Bliss, a sky on fire, a windy single track trail, a trusty steed, and solitude. This was easily one of those life is great moments as I sped down the trail into the warmth of the setting sun. Legs exhausted and breathing deep, I realized how fortunate we are to have access to this, all in our backyard. Last fall, my dog Isla was in our van and was very intrigued by the Shinnebarker Elk sculpture, and by the time I got back to the van, she was barking at it. When I opened the door to the van, she hopped out, ran to the sculpture barking, and then suddenly stopped and turned to look to see what the elk was looking at. Weather watching is key to surviving in the mountains, and when you are boating at 8,000 feet, fishing on Yellowstone Lake, watch out for the winds. Be prepared. Always on the lookout for a rogue wave. Water temperatures plummet to below 50 degrees during the fishing season. Not an adventure for the tenderfoots. Horseback riding has gotten this flatlander closer to nature than I could have imagined. Summertime is spent on mountain trails with great friends, and together 
We not only cover miles of terrain, but share lifetime memories of our rides, the scenery, and a variety of wildlife. Every year, the first snow surprises me. This year, it turned our coyotes into skunks. I love the way that the snow uh, brings out different elements in our sculptures and makes you see them in a new light. In this case, I thought it was particularly funny. Cross-country skiing with our snow lover Husky. There's just something about sliding along on an oasis of serenity. It's a place to think, dream, and lose track of time. Tiger is in his element, running, jumping, and smiling from ear to ear. Together, we appreciate and enjoy our natural surroundings. Truly, some of the best motorcycle riding on the planet is right here in Wyoming. One of my favorite rides is to come up through Star Valley, drive around Palisades Lake, drive up through Pine Creek Pass, up over Teton Pass, drop down into Jackson Hole, and then go back home through Star Valley. This eagle's recovery from injury was celebrated by the entire Jackson Hole community. In early spring, with one downward stroke of its wings, the eagle took off, circled the raptor center on the west bank, and soared out of sight. Look at that grin.